Hi and welcome to another one of my screencasts. In this screencast I'm going to show you uh, some of the new features coming into QGIS 2 that relate to the um, creation of um, feature forms or forms that are related to a specific um, features attributes. So um, maybe it's first nice to look at what we had in 1.8. So in 1.8 we had this uh, functionality if you click on the, the properties of a layer and you could go and um, set, the, set different controls um, and then they would um, they would sort of appear as a form if you clicked on a feature. So if we went to um, use the identify tool and we clicked on a feature, you get a simple form like this. And uh, the places where I've specified controls would be um, uh, converted into custom controls. Um, and of course, you also had the option to create uh, user interface forms, which is more advanced. Um, but I want to show you what's uh, coming new in version 2. So if you look at that same layer that I was looking at in uh, version 1.8, this is now version, uh, what's going to be version 2 that I'm running here. See, we, I've got an attribute table here. And um, if I look at the um, attributes in the um, layer properties, I can see the list of fields are available. And you'll see that there are, is a new function over here, or a new um, user interface element. So um, before, in order to specify the user interface file, you had to go to the layer properties and it was on the general tab, which I'll show you quickly. So this is back on 1.8 and you used to go to here and you could specify a user interface file. Now this has moved to um, the fields form and basically all the, place, all the ways to um, specify the user interface have been combined into one place, which is a nice usability improvement. And now, Auto-generate um, is the, the behavior that we had before in 1.8, where, whereby if you specified some custom field, um, some custom edit widgets here, um, they would automatically be um, generated in the form that you get when you um, open the, uh, when you click on identify for a feature, or there's various other ways to bring up that form as well. But what's new in QGIS 2 is this drag and drop designer. It's a really nice new feature. Because it's kind of like a halfway house between having to design a form yourself using um, Qt um, Creator or Qt Designer, um, which you can get a flavor of what that's about by looking at my video yesterday on um, uh, on uh, um, uh, the, doing the callout um, labels on QGIS. So. Um, Providing a UI file is complicated and requires quite specialist knowledge, but the drag and drop designer doesn't really require any specialist knowledge at all, and it's a very simple and elegant way to, to build a nice looking form. And what you basically do is you can create groups and you can then drag and drop um, form elements into it. So I'm going to start off by creating a new group here, and we'll call it um, main attributes, for example. You can call it anything you like. Um, and I'm going to say OK. And then within that, I might want to have um, uh, a group box. So I'll just go over here and I say I want it to be on main attributes. And then I might have another group box um, which I'll call um, uh, lanes, something like that. And if you look at this tree widget here, you'll see it starts to show you the hierarchy of your form. And I'm just going to create another tab which I'm going to call um, um, extra, something like that. Now I've got a bit of a structure that I can start to drag and drop my fields into. So um, for example, I might put the name into the main attributes and then um, uh, sorry, the type I put in there and then um, I put name in over here type I'll put directly under main attributes and then the number of lanes I'm going to put or whether it's one way or not I'm going to put under the lane section and also the number of lanes and so on and so on so I'll just drag and drop a few more things here so you can get an idea of it and I'll just open that so you can see what it's done um, and let's just do that like that. Okay, so now I've created a structure and I've basically said those are the way that I want my form fields to be arranged. 
Um, and then if I say OK, and I go and identify one of these features of my roads layer, I get a very nice looking little form like this with the groupings that I've defined, the name and so on, and okay, the typo was a mistake, I didn't mean to do that, but I, uh, I created a tab for it by mistake, and then um, uh, the extra properties which I defined. So I basically created a nice looking form, everything's neatly arranged, but I didn't have to do any programming or coding, I just dragged and dropped, and um, the user, when they have to put in the data, they can, um, so for example, they only need to put in the main attributes and the others are optional. Um, you can have this appear in, in one panel and or one tab and the optional things appear in a second tab and it's all very easy to generate. The forms implementation has, has been really extended into other parts of QGIS as well. So, for example, um, in, the, in the attribute table view, you can now toggle between two views. You can toggle between the attribute table view and the form um, list so basically what it does is it shows you a list of your um, of your features and as you click on each one you can see that you see its form on the right and this also provides a quick way to just um, uh, move through through the data look at them in, look at your data in a very user-friendly way and um, of course if I put calendar controls or file pickers or check boxes whatever you they'll all appear here as well so um, yeah, so that's all I have to show you now. Um, but um, do take a more detailed look at the form implementation in QGIS 2. It's really a vast improvement over what we had in version 1.8 and before. Thanks for watching.